Hello everyone, this is Johnny Hopper and this is my review of the new 2017 FC 250. Hey, big shout out to Ride Summit MX for the graphics. Alright, on to some of my favorite features of this motorcycle. I love the Brembo brakes. It's a two piston system, but arguably some of the best brakes out there. I also love the CNC machine triple clamps. You know, in case you fall over, I don't know if you guys have had other um, aluminum bikes that, you know, didn't have quite as good quality of the triple clamps, but when you fall over, you know, you get up and the front end's all tweaked. What's also nice is this new multi-function map switch. It's got two different maps there. You see you can have traction control on either or map. Um, I like the second map. It's more of an aggressive map. Um, I know on the 450 I'd like the less aggressive map, but on the 250 I actually like the more aggressive map. And again, what I'm doing here is if you hold both buttons down, it goes into whole shot mode. So that F1 is just blinking. And as you're revving the motor, once it gets to a certain RPM, it'll release so it'll get out of that traction control once you're riding around on the track another thing is i really like these dirt star wheels um, i've heard great things about them i've heard they're actually you know could be arguably better than the xl it's just my take on them i haven't bent them you know and i've had some pretty hard hits before so you know i really really like them and then onto the motor you know this bike stock makes 46 horsepower you know, I've seen some guys put five grand into a 250 just to get close uh, to that number. Did I mention Huskies are actually really good at digging holes? <laughs> All right, seriously, but onto the motor. Um, the bike doesn't have a whole lot of bottom end grunt to it. It's got more of a mid to a top. It's really strong on top and it just keeps revving out. I mean, you don't want to short shift it because you're missing out on the power. And you want to keep your momentum up in corners because you know that way it'll stay right there in the, the media of the power curve. So it doesn't have a whole lot of bottom to it, but man, this bike is impressive once you start getting to the mid and then right before it, it reaches top. And, you know, what I've read online is the bike actually revs out to about 14,000 RPM, which is a couple thousand more than some of its competitors. All right, and then on to the new AFF 48 millimeter air fork. What I really like is it's just a single chamber, so you just put air in one side. Honestly, it feels closest to an actual spring just because of that one chamber. Um, what I don't like is I don't like having to check my air every time I ride. I mean, it's not a big deal, you know, but it can change if you ride for a long time, just a couple pounds. But I found that it works actually really well in some low choppy stuff and some bigger stuff on, on my 450 when I'm actually racing some motocross. Supercross, you get some choppy bumps and, you know, obviously the bike set up super stiff for, for the whoops. Moving on to the hydraulic clutch. I've never had a hydraulic clutch before, so, you know, especially in Supercross, um, I end up being really hard on my clutch and it ends up fading and over the triples, I'm tightening it up. But that hydraulic clutch, I always have the same feel, which is awesome, you know, I'm, I'm actually really pumped about that. And what's nice is Magura, it's got that, if you tip over, you know, it won't bend the lever, it'll actually fold out. And it actually has a quick adjustment on there as far as for level height, uh, both on the clutch and the front brake. And another th cool thing is it's actually a billet clutch. So as opposed to going with a aftermarket clutch just to get that billet hub and pressure plate, it already comes stock, which is, I was extremely surprised when um, I was putting a clutch in the bike and I found out, hey, this, this thing's billet. 
Uh, one thing I, I didn't quite like was the foot pegs. The foot pegs are, they are adjustable, but they're real skinny. I mean, it's not a big thing. I just have to go buy some aftermarket foot pegs, you know, but that's just my take on it. I, I gotta have something that I don't like. Um, the steel frame, I'll say it again, I still love the steel frame. I think it helps with arm pump because it just helps flex. You know, same thing with panel bars that come stock with the Pro Taper um, fat bars that don't have a crossbar. I also think that that helps with arm pump because it's just not as rigid. Some final things to add. I really like how you don't need any tools to change the air filter. The side panel pops off and the air filter just pops right off as well. I also like how easy it is to change the oil on this bike the nut is actually located on the back of the motor so you know you don't have to take off a skid plate if you're changing oil which is really nice i also like how husky put a 450 tire on the rear of this 250 that's a 110 and the axle blocks um makes it a little hard to adjust the chain because they move a little bit but i mean you can always go get one from you know your local dealer but as always, go down to Rocky Mountain Cycle Plaza and let's go riding.